Hey guys, it's Katie. I have gotten a lot of questions about stripping cloth diapers, how I do it, why to do it, all that stuff. So I'm just going to give you an overview of what I do. So stripping for cloth diapers is like basically a really deep cleaning. People need to do it when you start getting, um, when your diapers start smelling, like as soon as they get wet, um, as soon as your baby pees, like you smell ammonia, or it can be if, um, like say pocket diapers, microfiber starts to repel um, water, well, pee. <laughs> um, so it could be either from buildup from your detergent or buildup from just minerals in your water if you have hard water. Me personally, I've never had a repelling issue, but I do get buildup from the minerals in our water. We have very hard water here, so the process that I use is going to be different um, than probably what might work for you. Everybody has different sorts of diapers, different water, they use different detergents, they have different type of um, washing machines, and all that kind of plays into how often you need to strip, if you do. What I've noticed is that microfiber, um, synthetic fibers, microfiber especially, needs to be stripped a lot more than natural fibers. So I use cotton prefolds that need to be stripped a lot less than the microfiber inserts I use in some of our pocket diapers. All of my diapers at this point have been in daily use for almost 14 months, and I've stripped my prefolds twice, so roughly every six months or so. And the microfiber inserts for the pocket diapers, I strip about every three to four months. I also have hemp inserts. Um, I have never had to strip them. I've never had any issues whatsoever um, with any stink. So basically for my microfiber inserts and my prefolds, I do the same process. I boil them on the stove and then I wash them in the machine several times. And I'll show you some clips of that. I do not wash uh, my covers like this or the shelves for the diapers. Anything with PUL would get damaged by boiling, so you don't want to do that. I also don't wash uh, my wool or fleece covers like this. So here are some clips from the last time I stripped my inserts. Hope that helps. So right now I want to strip just my microfiber inserts. So these are all clean. Some are like dry and clean and some I have just come out of the wash clean. So um, what I use, so I'm just going to go ahead and put them in. I've got boiling water in a stock pot here. And usually I can't fit them all. So I'll do like probably half and half. Do like two shifts. I just use tongs to get them down into the water. Now I don't measure, but this is just plain white vinegar. I just use a little bit, I don't know, it's probably a quarter cup for the four inserts that I have in there. And then I use washing soda. This is different than baking soda. It's probably in your laundry aisle instead of like in the baking aisle. Um, I have to order this around here. They don't sell it in the grocery store, so I order it um, from like Ace Hardware. Again, I don't really measure, but I put in probably, I don't know, maybe a quarter cup of this too. And this is a water softener. So you can use this in your wash cycles, in your um, washing machine, like instead of Calgon as a water softener if you have hard water. But I just use it to strip. And then it sort of fizzes up. Similar, It's similar to baking soda, but it's not the same like compound. So my diapers have only been boiling now for about 10 minutes, but I don't know if you're, you're going to be able to see this, but the water is already starting to get kind of like murky. It's like a little bit yellow and a little bit cloudy and it's just all the like built up minerals and stuff coming out of the inserts and into the water so it's working. Okay it's been about 35 minutes and I think they're done. They get all like puffy. Um, so I'm just going to take them out. Sorry I just let the water drip off and then I can't do this with one, just one hand but put it on my pot lid and then that's why I carry it to the washing machine so I'm not try taking all this water. Um, to the washing machine, just the insert itself. Okay, so I'm just going to pull out the last one and you can see how nasty the water is. This is pretty much white and the water is like all yellow and cloudy and disgusting. Alright, all my inserts are boiled and in my machine. I'm going to add in my shells. These you can't boil because the PUL will get destroyed. So I will add them in at this point. So usually at this point, um, I just use my regular detergent and do like a wash cycle and then um, as many rinses as I need to until there's no more soap bubbles. And this time I'm going to try the Blue Dawn, which I've never done before, but um, I'm just going to do a normal load. Um, 
with the Dawn and I'm gonna put on an extra rinse because it's gonna take several rinses. So we'll let those wash and then, um, like I said, we're gonna do as many rinses as we need to until there's no more soap bubbles in the bottom. Rinse number two, we still have bubbles. On my fifth rinse, there were no bubbles left, so I took them out to hang to dry. Five rinses might sound like a lot, but my machine doesn't use much water, so if you have a top loader um, that uses more water in each cycle, you can probably, you know, you'll probably have fewer cycles. There you have it.